just pick up the phone and call me I'll be there Girl, let me show you You're my one and only like I told you I'll be there And if you get blue, I got the loving for Guys, I've just come to um, Simpson Marina, New Haven, and I've bought the Honwave T35 AE3, which is the newest model. And I'm just going to pump it up and unbox it in front of you guys and show you guys the boat. Um, so the things I like about it, and if there's anything I don't, I will also mention that in the video. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it, guys. I've been wanting a, an aluminium floor for quite a while now. Um, the Honwave's going to improve my fishing massively, so just. Keep watching guys, I'll show you around it. We'll see how many people we can get in it. And then um, we'll show you how long it takes to put the thing away as well. If I can get it open. Right, guys, the first thing we get. The first thing that comes out when we um, take the boat apart is the bags um, that you wrap the boat up into. You don't need those for now. Two bags, one for the um, aluminium floor and the seats and everything, and then one for the boat. Make sure you guys can see everything on the camera. Awesome. Great, so the boat, the bags, the boat. Um, and then, obviously with that lot. Get your oars out next. They're locked pin ones, so they do lock in. Comes with one seat. <laughs> in a waterproof tube and I'm not sure okay uh, you've got a you get a little pressure reading valve as well so you put that on your tubes when you think there's enough air in and it will tell you exactly where they are It's going to give me a hand getting those last bits in, just show me how to do it because I think I'm doing it wrong. So guys, that's how long it took an absolute ape put the flooring in but um well no it's unpacking the boat as well but I've never done it before so um yeah now I know the little tips and tricks to getting the flooring nice and easy it'll be easier next time but I'm really out of breath so I'm going to pause the video for a minute come back in about five minutes and I'll pump it up and put the seat on pump it up now guys some air in it remember when you go around these inflatable boats pump them up don't put 100% in one tube go to put a little bit about 85% in each tube and then top it off at the end you can look at the clouds fly by Come on and let yourself enjoy The ride and fly A little higher Right guys, we're getting close to its maximum pump now which is 
3.6 psi so I'm going to start checking to make sure I'm not going over it because if you do you'll burst the internal bladders and you've wasted a boat Guys, the first thing you notice about the Hon Wave is the carry handles inside the rear tubes, which is going to make it a lot easier for someone to hold it from the back and your other mate to carry it from the front. Or if you've got three of you, you can have one at the back and one each side at the front. You've got grab handles all along the boat for lifting it. You've got one on the side here. You've got a second seat strap and a seat. You've got two, the two um, potential uh, seat locations on the boat in total. The transom is rated for 20 horsepower. Uh, that's going to be a 20 horsepower four stroke, so it'll take a lot of weight. You've got these handles here are going to be excellent for me because I normally sit here and I control the engine via the tiller and it gives me something nice and strong to hold on to. Um, and they're all over the boat, about 20, um, 20 or so inches away from each other, going all the way to the front of the boat, as well as a, a, a D-ring. Right, as well as the D ring at the front, you can put your anchor rope through a rolling mat to protect the boat, an actual roller, and then you've got your anchor tie off and stuff at the front and the handle for carrying the boat. The tubes are 45 centimeters on this, so they are absolutely massive. So you've got plenty of um, plenty of depth from the floor to the tube, so you can stand up in the boat without rowing about falling out. Handles all around again with rubber protectors. You can either have, your oars can either be stored on the tubes, or if you want to be sat on the tubes all day, you can store your oars inside the boat. You've got a four piece aluminium floor, which really isn't very heavy. Um, the other thing I will say, this does have the new um, upgraded water release system. It's a one way valve, so when you open it, water will go out and empty the boat. If you do get a wave come over you and then you close it, it's really simple. This is a new, the new um, upgraded one for the AE3. There you go, guys. Comes with two bags bag for the boat itself and then there's a separate bag there for the aluminium flooring as well and on top of that you get your pump um, in there is a valve um, a psi checker to make sure you're putting the right amount in and then in this little orange tube here we have a valve a hawkey roberts valve um, spanner which i don't know any other boat that will give you one of these what this is for if you go out one day and you can hear air leaking out of these tubes you take this spanner you put it in the valve it enables you to retighten the whole valve or even take it out completely and clean around the edges that's amazing that they've put that in there and then you get two different colors of pvc you've got the home wave blue and the home wave cream um, and then you get the uh, one part um, epoxy glue for doing the repair so yeah awesome good to have that in the boat actually i'll probably just store that somewhere i well, know i'm not going to lose it no guys, well happy with it. It's got the inflatable keel. You're gonna punch through the water nicely. I'm gonna be putting a, a 15 horsepower Johnson on the back of this. It's gonna power it perfectly. You can take up to a 20, but I don't really see the point in upgrading for an extra five horses. I am gonna be drilling into this transom to put my launch wheels on um, for my first day out on it, which will be tomorrow. Um, guys, I'd easily, I'm not, I'm not gonna rate it until I've been out on the water on it, you'll get that tomorrow. Um, when I go out, I'm going out, gonna do some fishing on Sunday, um, test the boat out, but first I've gotta go home, I've gotta put my transducer mount, 
um, my my low runs hook five mount my GPS mount and a few other bits and bobs on the boat ready um, I am going to go into Simpson Marine now quickly and just talk to them about potentially purchasing a second seat because they do sell not only do they sell the boats they sell all the accessories the emergency repair kits anchors cleats ropes chains all your tackle your fishing rods and bait um, just come here guys get everything you need um, that's what I've started doing now because I'm doing a lot of boat fishing because of my arm uh, so it's been really helpful to be able to come to one place and get everything at the same time rather than having to go to three different places to get things um, and as you guys have seen from the previous video the bait from here is, is, is really really good it's exactly what it says it isn't on the tin the lug's nice um, and there's a good good range of frozen baits as well so yeah guys that's the home wave I forgot to say, you've got two D-rings at the front on each side as well for towing the boat if you do break down so you can tow it safely. And then it also comes with cleating rope uh, to moor it up if that's what you're going to do. Stop, stop, stop. Do one more walk around. Hey guys, Simpson Marines of Simpson Marine have got one one of these home waves left. So um Yeah, get it get it before it's gone because these home waves are like rocking off at the moment. It took me a long time. I didn't even realise they had them in stock because everywhere I checked um they were gone. I did actually speak to them a couple of days ago and they had a mix up and told me that they didn't have any and then I called again and realised that they actually had two. So I came and I got one straight away because I know that this is the boat that I want. The amount of space you get in there as well is perfect. The Holmwave T40 is too big for me because I'm going to be rolling it up and folding it after every trip. But no, I'm happy. I'm excited to get out on it tomorrow. Ooh, baby, it's like the world is on our side. Nothing can bring me down tonight. Guys, because at the moment I'm not driving, I get I get taxis to and from Simpson Marine, and the only people that will actually take me with my boat, whether it's clean or dirty, are Sussex taxis from Peacehaven. I'll we'll show you the phone number on the side. But if anyone's thinking about buying a ship and they don't have the, the means to get about, taxis are fine. And if you find the right taxi company, they'll take you where you need to go. Stay there, stay there. Taxis like this are like bands, so you can get all your stuff in, put your outboard in the back. As long as you respect it and you're a little bit careful not to damage their Mercedes at the end of the day. But they're amazing, I've always used I've always used Sussex taxis for getting from my house to here. And it's only about 18 quid, something like 15, 18 pounds. And they carry it in for me and all. I'd, I'd be stuck at home not able to fish if I didn't have taxis to take.